Hi everyone, I'm Caelan Burrows and this is a briefer history of the past. <music> President's Day is celebrated in America on the third Monday in February. The origins of the federal holiday are tied to February 22nd, the birthday of America's first official president, George Washington. Wait, Americans get a day off to celebrate the first president? Why don't England have a day off to celebrate the first king, Egbert? Hmm. It's because his name is Egbert, isn't it? George Washington died in 1799, and the year following, February 22nd, became a perennial day of remembrance for him. While most unofficially observed Washington's birthday, it didn't become a federal holiday until the late 1870s. It was proposed by Senator Stephen Wallace Dorsey and signed into law by President Rutherford B. Hayes. And here everyone only remembers him as the president who banned booze from the White House, am I right? <laughs> what? What do you mean nobody knows that? At first the holiday was only applied to the District of Columbia, but was later expanded to the rest of the country in 1885. 1885? Sounds to me like a lot of people are owed about 10 years of President's Days off. In the 1960s, Congress proposed a measure called the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, in an effort to create more three-day weekends. The law shifted a number of federal holidays from specific dates to a series of predetermined Mondays. It also included a provision to combine Abraham Lincoln's birthday, which was February 12th, with Washington's celebration. Wait, all this hassle over Washington, and yet nothing for the man who started the whole mess? In fact, I think he should get two days off. Yeah, no. No, I think Hayes Days Off has a nice ring to it. President's Day was still known as Washington's birthday when the UMH Act was signed into law by President Nixon. It wasn't until marketers started advertising President's Day sales over the holiday weekend that the name caught on. And, by the time the name was officially changed in the early 2000s, about half the states had already changed the name on their calendars. Wow. Commercialism really does make the best federal holidays, don't it? If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when more Briefer History of the Past videos go up. Check out next week's full episode of A Brief History of the Past, all about the history of language. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the future.